What's going on, everyone? It's Nina Infinity, and today I'm going to be talking about how Hollywood is once again erasing femininity. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Today I saw the first trailer for Star Trek Strange New Worlds, and I am not impressed with the character designs of the show. I'm not going into how they butchered Spock, but seriously, what the frig is this? But for this video, I'm going to be talking about the continued erasure of femininity and woke Hollywood entertainment. And if you don't know, well, let me tell you, it's been happening for a while. Let's look back at some examples, shall we? Here's Rose Tico played by the beautiful Kelly Murray Tran, who was uglified, put in a potato sack, and made to look like this. Nani? Then there's Lashana Lynch, who was made to look more masculine in the new Bond movie. Then there's Lupita Nyong'o's character in 355, which was put in a pantsuit and completely defeminized as well. And even animation is not safe. Just look at what they did to poor Tila in He-Man. Over and over, we see depictions of women, particularly women of color, being defeminized and made to look more masculine, thus erasing femininity. And so here we are, watching the new Star Trek Strange New Worlds trailer, and we see the first glimpse of what is the, one of the most iconic characters in Star Trek, Ahura, originally portrayed by Michelle Nichols, who was a groundbreaking character at the time of the original Trek. We also got another version of Uhura in JJ Trek, which I'm not a fan of at all, but I can tell you that Zoe Salada's Uhura was at least beautiful and feminine physical representation of the character. Mind you, I mean, the character was shit, like, you know, shit depiction of it, but physically the character was beautiful. All the characters looked great in JJ Trek. Now here we are in 2022, and this is what we get. A masculine Uhura. Why? Because in the eyes of woke Hollywood entertainment, a woman can't be as good as a man unless she looks and acts like a man. Oh, and they've also added another female character, which also looks masculine, Lieutenant Ortega's. Uh, so it's not just old characters they're revamping and defeminizing, it's new characters that look freaking awful. And it's not to say that short hair is masculine, just look at how feminine Melissa Navia looks in this picture and what they did to her. They can't help themselves. Same with the actress that plays Uhura in Strange New World. Cecilia Rose Gooding is beautiful and feminine and look what they did to her. This is a shit trend that's been going on forever and I'm sick of it. And don't think for one second that men are an exception to this. There are many forms of media where men are being feminized. Just look at poor Elrond in the new upcoming Amazon Lord of the Rings of Power. You might be asking yourself, why is this happening? I think it's because they want to blur the lines between masculine and feminine energy. It's a continued war on traditional family values, traditional gender roles, and the continuation of the destruction of the nuclear family, leading to a transhumanist quote-unquote utopia nightmare that these people behind these ideas envision for us all. Whatever happened to entertainment and escapism? What happened to just having fun and being entertained without having these gender identity bullshit ruin everything? And yes, it's in everything. Why can't we just escape through entertainment to a world where the characters look like the best versions of ourselves? Fit, strong, beautiful, and intelligent. Why can't we enjoy anything anymore? As a woman, I'm sick of seeing the complete erasure of my sexuality. It makes me angry and I don't think it's progressive. Unless progressive means to go backwards and stop acknowledging that we are who we are and to accept ourselves for who we are and that in essence, we are different. Men and women are different and that's okay. Guess what? It's not sexist to be a beautiful woman. It's not sexist to portray a beautiful woman. But hey, those are my thoughts on this and as we all know beauty is in the eye of the beholder but this is definitely not my cup of tea let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and thanks for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe have a great day bye